Hello guys, welcome to first tutorial of the Flutter series that I'm going to create and assuming that you have already installed Flutter on your Windows or Mac because it almost took me like two days and I was really stuck in the errors but we will not go there. Uh, assuming that you have already installed Flutter and you know any programming language, then you can definitely watch this tutorial if you don't know any programming language because uh, most of programming languages are object oriented in which they use functions, instances, and all these kind of stuff. So, you know, like if you are familiar with any kind of programming language, then it would really help you to learn Dart. And what is Flutter? Flutter basically is like a single based code that help us to develop apps for iPhone and Android at the same time. Like you don't have to write the code twice. So what I have here today is a. Uh, you can look up flutter and all the information but this is going to be a really hands-on tutorial because i have also learned it just like uh three weeks i have been learning flutter and so the first step that i have like learned is like how do we fetch the api data and display it such as this is a news app here going on and how do we build this so if you click here this is what we are trying to build like app bar has the category name and each category will have news of its own so that is why you know like uh how do we learn this like how do we build this app and uh i from a personal experience came here with the after learning java so it was really helpful for me some said even if you know javascript or python or any other languages you can just come after here uh, after learning those languages and to learn this so yeah so here we have a uh, this app working and uh, if we go back and if we launch it again we will also see an indicator loading indicator so this is the app that we are going to build today and as for flutter and information what you can do with it you can look up online so first of all i'll just go to android studio and like uh, create a new flutter project flutter application i can name it the this application name has to be in the lowercase the package name so maybe we can name this uh, Flutter news Flutter Okay, daily news, okay so This is very important sometime this is this field is empty So wherever you have installed your flutter you can like uh, paste that link in here and we'll go next and leave this empty for now So we'll just click on finish. Okay, this is the daily news what we have gotten. Yeah, there we have it, guys. So first and foremost, we will uh, we will uh, copy some packages because uh, to fetch just as in Java we we paste some dependencies in flutter there are some dependencies to the libraries that we import so we can use them later so we'll just come in our pub spec yml file and i have already copied some dependencies that i wanted to use in this project so i'm going to tell you what each of it does so here i'm just using two but there can be more okay so okay yep 
So this is for uh, fetching the API response and this is for loading the images. And uh, one important thing whenever you are editing the pub spec YML file is that it has to be like this. It has to be two space ahead whatever that you are going to write. Otherwise your app will not work. Your, your project will not run. So let's just click on get. And yeah, everything is fine here. If we see the exit code here, yeah, exit code is zero. So we'll just close this. So I have done this so I don't have to come back to it. And yeah, here I am and I'll just get dependencies. So I have already showed you what we are trying to build just, uh, just for your uh, uh, reference. If you have a Samsung phone and if you see my old videos, then I am always like uh, creating an app and then uh, running it on my phone and then adding that video but you are not you are not able to see those uh, the demo of any app that I had created right away on the on on my same screen so I have installed this side sync app which Samsung offers so if you are using Samsung phone then you can connect it and now you can just access your phone from here so you, you don't have to like you know go to your ML uh, like phone and test it now I can test it in front of you really cool right so yeah let's get right into it and I'm going to delete this all because this is some uh, what do you call like boilerplate or the code that that uh, dart has generated for us material app because most of the material uh, material widget is like uh, it's given by the Google and most of the things that we use uh, are, are 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 built on that so yeah so yeah if you want curly braces you can do that uh, otherwise you can just erase them and add an arrow okay so what we are here to do is we will create a path okay so here we are let's just delete test folder for now we don't need this we'll come in our lib folder and we will create so what do we have here if we look at our app we have our main like a home page where we are displaying news and we have our category category news page okay so we need two pages or you can say two views or two activities okay so we'll just create a package to make our code more uh, refined so let's just uh, name this as views and we will go and take and call create a dart file and call this home page and create another dart file and call this category page okay so here what we will do is import package material dot dart because we need all the widgets that are inside the material and we'll create one state full widget and name it as home page stateful widget is where the state changes where the data changes and state less widget is where the data is not changed it's, it can serve as a template or, or like just to display stuff but in stateful widget the widget has a state and it keeps on changing so here we are and now just for the reference I'll just uh, like uh, show you that how do we because whenever we load our app this main will dis will be displayed first so how do we display a certain a specific page that we want to display is that we create the create the page first and I can just write first page and here I'll come back to the main 
so what I'll do here is yeah that was our context and home page so now if I if I run this if I save this app if I run this app on my phone so we'll we'll see we'll, we should be seeing this uh, we should be seeing our whatever the text that I have saved in this first page just so you know like whenever the app is loading the main uh, main main page is directing our uh, app to this page that we have made so that's how you create the first uh, or many pages that you want you can just work your way in the routes yeah so it is taking some time i'll just pause the video for now so this should be coming up any minute now please don't confuse this as android emulator it's just my phone is connected and i'm sharing my screen so yeah yeah so you see our app has been like uh, launched and you see here so this is here and we wrote this we wrote this first page here okay so if i change this and i'll just perform so it's changing okay so that's all for our first tutorial this is a project setup and we will take it from here in the next one see you